Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. We're expecting the hottest day of the next couple, especially for the holiday weekend. Good news is we're watching a weak cold front that will move on through, dropping our temperatures just a couple of degrees, but it's not going to be as cool as we saw earlier on this week with temperatures into the upper 80s. We're also going to be watching the tropics for those of you who are going to be heading out of town this weekend because we do have Hurricane Dorian that's going to make an impact uh, on the Florida coast and even into the Bahamas. Right now, currently a Category 2 hurricane with winds sustained at 105 miles per hour, but wind gusts of up to 125 miles per hour. Here's its current location at the moment, but this is where the National Hurricane Track is taking it directly over the Bahamas and then landing somewhere along the Florida coast. Still a couple days out to know exactly where that landfall is going to be, but it does have the, this hurricane making a Category 4 uh, landfall somewhere along the coast of Florida. Keep in mind, Category 4 is just one below Category 5, so these winds are going to be very damaging, very strong, a lot of rainfall and a lot of storm surge. So if you have plans to go to the Florida coast or even the Bahamas, try to rebook that and really try to just avoid that area. See if you can get your money back on your hotels or even your airlines. But back here at home, other than that, we're seeing pretty nice conditions for the holiday weekend. Temperatures into the lower 90s, watching an isolated rain chance on Saturday, drying out by Sunday. Technically, 92 degrees is still hot for this time of year. We are going to be watching, though, for temperatures to slowly cool back down into the upper 80s and then lower 90s later on next week. Uh, outside right now in post, waking up to clear conditions this morning and really all of us across the South Plains waking up to mostly clear conditions. Bigger story is the range in temperatures a little bit cooler off to the north and west with some areas down to the south and east just a touch warmer with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s in some spots, but we will be warming up very quickly later on this afternoon. So most of us stay dry throughout the daytime hours today, maybe spot shower later on this afternoon and evening with temperatures topping out into the mid to upper 90s in some areas, maybe a lingering shower off in eastern New Mexico overnight tonight, but most of us will stay dry tonight if you are going to be outside. Starting off tomorrow dry and cool with temperatures into the upper 60s. Tomorrow, just a touch better chance for a few more isolated showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. Very isolated in nature. I think this model is overdoing it just a little bit, but there is that potential to see just a few more uh, showers and thunderstorms compared to today as that weak front moves on through and temperatures tomorrow getting up into the lower 90s. Maybe a lingering shower by late tomorrow night drying out by overnight hours for today, though, mostly sunny for many of us. Maybe a spot shower or two. Other than that, very hot temperatures into the mid to upper 90s. Maybe an area seeing the triple digits off into the rolling plains, but tonight falling into the upper 60s and lower 70s with mostly clear conditions. 92 tomorrow for the first game, and that's actually what the temperature is going to be at kickoff at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon for the tech game. A few isolated showers, just enough to put it into the forecast, but many of us won't even see that rainfall, so hopefully it'll stay out of the hub city uh, just so we can get the entire game in because nothing is worse than starting off football season than things getting delayed. So hopefully we can get the full entire game in, but temperatures hover into the lower 90s by next week and potentially even the upper 80s. I know in Florida, I used to go to a bunch of football games and you know how many times we would just get lightning and then the whole game had to be delayed, postponed, mm -hmm. even canceled sometimes. So not the best. Hopefully that doesn't happen this weekend. Yeah. But kind of going back to Florida, I mean, could we possibly see that Category 5 happen at all? I mean, what, what's your idea on that? It's the potential. It all depends on uh, what the atmosphere decides it wants it to do. Um, earlier on this week, it really only made it at about a Category 1 landfall, then it quickly was upgraded to Category 3, then Category 4. So that potential is there, especially if the uh, parameters, not only the atmosphere parameters, but if the water's just warm enough, which it most likely is in Florida. Always is. <laughs> um, there is that potential, but as of now, they are saying a Category 4 hurricane. Thanks, Kellyanne. Well